Today is day 17 of my 90 day transformation and y'all would not believe how many videos I've made this morning. So I made about 27 videos before I got to this video and I and I was finally happy with it and, it, and when I played it back it went eee! like the, the microphone wasn't plugged in right so you couldn't hear anything I said suddenly like, great now you gotta do this all over again and um but I, I'm doing it again because I'm committed to posting a video every day and that was part of my challenge and getting better at making videos. So yesterday I went and I looked at some YouTube channels because I'm, I'm not really a YouTube girl. Um, so I want to see what kind of content was out there, uh, what their thumbnails look like, what they're setting, what did they had to say. So I looked at a couple of channels and this one lady, she's gorgeous. She's got big fake eyelashes, makeup on, her nails are probably done, and she's talking from this gorgeous white bedroom, and her setup was amazing, and, and she, she had it all edited perfectly, and she just sounded terrific, looked terrific, and I'm like, ah, you're small potatoes, how are you ever going to make a real YouTube channel, and, and I thought about it, and I, I thought this was my takeaway. Um, when I started Just Mommies, I had a, I lived in a small three-bedroom house with too many kids in it. Uh, I was, I, I was on food stamps for a while because my, my middle son was born premature and I, I stayed home with him. Um, so I didn't have a lot. Uh, I lived in a small house. I didn't have a nice house, fancy house, had a crappy computer, and I still was able to build a sex, successful community of women. And I know why. Um, I've seen other women's communities. Um, they're like the lady in the white bedroom with the perfect makeup. Um, and our community was with real women, re relatable women, um, the kind of women I like to hang with. Um, I thought about it, and the kind of women I like aren't the women with the fake eyelashes, the beautiful makeup, and, and uh, their perfectly little kids, and their perfectly little house, and their fake I'm a, I'm a boss babe coffee. Those aren't my women. Those aren't my people. My people are people like me, people that don't have the perfect house, but they still get up and they work hard um, and they try hard and they, they are like me. These are the people I relate with. So I thought about that as I was um, walking away from her channel, comparing myself to her. And another message I got was, a while back, somebody said this to me and it stuck with me, um, to go back to swim class and that you can't win a race when you're not staying in your own lane. If you're looking over here or looking over there and seeing what the other racers are doing, you're not going to win your own race. Um, I have my own strengths and my strengths aren't <laughs> in putting makeup on or... Um, having the fancy beautiful house I, I even when I have when I had a nice house I wasn't snobby and I didn't have all the fancy stuff I am practical I like to live the way I like to live um I like to eat good so this morning I you know I made this video like 17 times no more than 17 I'm probably getting close to 100 but I'm making it because that was one of my goals for myself was to make this challenge and post a video every single day to document my progress. And even though it doesn't feel like I'm making progress, I looked in the mirror this morning and I was so happy with what I saw. The thing about progress is you don't see it. You don't see it till you start looking back at it. You have to stick with it through the monotonous, boring, tedious stuff. Um, right now, one of the things I'm trying to do is grow my business and um, these videos are kind of cutting into my um, productivity time. So I'm doing a lot of the grind and it gets exhausting and I feel like I'm pushing a rock up a hill and I get it halfway up the hill because I stick with something. And I'm self-disciplined and I'm getting somewhere and then all of a sudden I get burnt out and the, the rock falls all the way back down the hill and I got to start over. So, you know, one of the things I want to accomplish with this 90 day transformation for myself is 
not to never let the rock fall backwards because I'm human. I'm not perfect. I have my moments where I, I can't go, go, go. But to just keep pushing forward, um, even when it falls backwards, to just keep pushing forward. So today, when I'm done with this video, I am going to get back to work on my goals. My workout's happening. Uh, yesterday didn't happen till late in the day because I had some things get in my way, but I got it done. So today I'm going to do my workouts. Uh, I didn't send any cold emails yesterday because I didn't have time. So I'm going to catch up on my work, do my cold emails, do my workout, and publish this video. So tomorrow will be a new day. I'll have new things to talk about. Hopefully my video will go a little faster with a little less obstacles tomorrow. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to talk the boyfriend into going to the store with me so I can get a better microphone and maybe make some improvements to my setup. Um, and then tomorrow I'll have another update. So I appreciate all my friends that are supporting me while I figure out how to do YouTube and work on some personal goals. I had a bunch of stuff I talked about on my first take of this video that maybe I'll talk about tomorrow. But thank you so much for your support. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. And for those of you who leave me comments, you make my whole day better and make this worthwhile. So thank you, Jackie, and a few of my friends that are supporting me. Um, if you like my videos, um, I'd appreciate your help growing this channel. Either like and subscribe to my YouTube or, you know, tell a friend, watch my friend Patty. She's trying to get a YouTube channel off the ground. I would really appreciate it. So thanks a bunch. I'm going to start my day now. I can't wait for tomorrow.